G'day and welcome to the great day out into the beautiful scenic rim just outside of Brisbane, an area that is renowned for food, for picturesque views and for country experiences. And today I have found a tour that covers all of that in one day and does it with style and in comfort. All of that a little bit later, but first, here is the rest of the team. In the meantime, Jess is getting a sneak peek into the future of living on the Brisbane River. Over the next 20 years, what's you know an old wharf and industrial area is going to be transformed into this beautiful, vibrant lifestyle hub. We spend a day on the Gold Coast with Olympic hurdler and current world champion, Sally Pearson. I love rides, I love adrenaline, but at the same time, I get so scared on it. But first, Paralympian Carney Liddell joins the team. Saddle up and hit the track. One of the most therapeutic things you can ever do is to head bush with a couple of four-legged friends. And to make it even more magical, add a slice of paradise like the Byron Bay hinterland, a couple of mates and you've got the perfect day out. The ranch is a Byron-based horse riding company and owner Shanty McIver has 18 of these beautiful characters. She's going to start yawning as soon as we put it on. Oh. So this is going to be your horse today, Carney. This is Alinta. She's just a lovely, quiet girl and she's so trustworthy. You can put anyone on her. She looks after them. What makes horse riding so amazing? For me, it's all about the freedom. Like, just to, to open my arms up and just, you know, see all the wildlife. I really want to share that with people. This morning, we're on a ride through the stunning Nightcap National Park. Our destination, Minion Falls. We've got a lot of bangalow palms and the big ghost gums, and you can see these beautiful white strands of timber. The scenery up here is divine. The sights and sounds are just magical. It is beautiful. It's so relaxing, isn't it? The so lovely. sound of water. It's clear crystal mountain streams. The ride can be as gentle as a slow saunter or a full-on gallop through the bush. <laughs> Winding through the forest, at the top, you're greeted by the best views in the Byron Shire. You can see right through the valley and this amazing rainforest all down below. And when it's in full flow, it's power coming off the waterfall is amazing. There's also another gourmet surprise a picnic to rest our weary legs and bums. We deserve this food though after, we must have burnt some serious calories oh. on that ride. What has been some of the best reactions from your customers? I'd say you're definitely up there. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not competitive at all. <laughs> Usually they're just in awe. They're, they're riding along with massive smiles on their faces and just cantering through the forest and trotting. And for me, something really special, a first. I don't know if you know this, but this is actually the first time I've ever experienced a rainforest. And as you know, I, lo I love to be in nature, and I can only do that usually in water. So I want to thank you so much for allowing me to, after 40 years, finally experience a rainforest, truly. You're so welcome. A ride with the horses from the ranch is a truly wonderful experience. For all the deets, head over to the Great Day Out website. I needed those four legs. Yeah. <laughs> My two legs couldn't do it. Yeah. Any time, honey. A little country town surrounded by gorgeous farms, rugged mountains, gorgeous lakes. Just an hour from Brisbane. It sounds too good to be true, right? Perfect for a day drive or weekend away. Beautiful Buna really does have it all, including something very close to my heart, delicious food. Wonderful flavours abound at Flavours Cafe, owned by Mark. This is a, a centrepiece of our community, actually, and the community have a very sentimental connection to this building. Once upon a time, the building was part of the old butter factory, which was the largest producer in the Southern Hemisphere. We still have people who come here that work here in the 50s and the 60s and the 40s, you know, it's quite amazing. Flavours Cafe is one stop on the Day in the Country Tour run by Prestige Day Tours. It's owned by Cheryl and Nev Profke. We've got some spectacular scenery, mountains, gorges, plunging waterfalls, a beautiful lunch, and then after lunch we've got a very special treat for you. Well, it sounds like we've got a fun day ahead. We'll see you later in the show.
It's amazing to think how a river can connect us all on so many levels. Where we live, work and play, life by the Brisbane River has starred a major role in shaping our city. But as we continue to thrive, Brisbane will continue to develop and grow. And tucked away just behind Ascot is a glimpse into the future of living here in the River City. What a glorious morning. Just 6 k's from the CBD, Hamilton Reach is the newest precinct on the Brisbane North Shore. With 304 hectares of prime riverfront land and its relaxed and natural surroundings, living here allows for an inner city lifestyle to the envy of many others. Parks bustling with morning revellers and walkways already popular with the early risers. And with a purpose-built beach, there's even opportunities to get closer to the river than ever before. Over the next 20 years, what's you know an old wharf and industrial area is going to be transformed into this beautiful, vibrant lifestyle hub. So it's going to be home to 10,000 residents, there's going to be 15,000 new jobs created. But our Hamilton Reach residents, they get to sort of stay down here in their beautiful green pocket, enjoy everything as the master plan's delivered, but then go back home, which is lovely. Such a hidden gem, that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> it is, it is, and I think for you coming down here every morning, it's definitely my favourite time to come to Hamilton Reach. You know, you see people on their bikes, they're on the beach, they're down here at the North Shore Harbour Cafe. We're really trying to help people create a life that they're really proud of. Within reach are a number of popular entertainment destinations. The on-site city cat means that even though they're you know, only six kilometres from the CBD, it's such a lovely way for them to get in and enjoy shopping at Queen Street Mall. So we've got Portside Wharf just down the road, Racecourse Road and Hamilton Harbour. But I think probably the jewel in the crown is obviously definitely Eat Street, so it's just two seconds down there. Our residents walk down often on a Sunday afternoon. The new development will have it all. Bars, cafes and restaurants only steps away from luxury living. Mary, this apartment, this entire building, it's absolutely breathtaking. It would be incredible to live here. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's pretty special. As you can see, we've got the Brisbane city behind us. We're right on the Brisbane River and very close to everything. Clearly the view would be a major draw card. It's just breathtaking. Yeah, no, it's absolutely beautiful. And just walking up here this morning, I can see so many people just standing on their balconies, just having that moment of looking over to the river and, and enjoying that peaceful solitude. There are so many amazing amenities right here in this building, you kind of don't need to leave, do you? As you would have noticed coming through, we've got a pool, we've got a, a gymnasium, barbecue facilities, and there's this amazing residence lounge area. So people within Riverlight can actually book that if they wanted to have a party. And just across the park is the latest release. So the river homes are a really special type of property. So they will be completed soon and there's only eight of them in total. And what's really special about them is that they are rare freehold river home properties. So there's no body corporate attached to them. So they are individual houses that are right on the Brisbane River. The beautiful feature about where we are here is that we're so close to everything and we're just wrapped and surrounded by all this beautiful greenery and water. And it's all about lifestyle, which I love. Yeah, it's all about lifestyle. For more info, visit the display apartment on site in Hamilton Reach or visit the Great Day Out website. I'm Sally Pearson. I'm the Olympic champion in the 100 metre hurdles and I live here on the Gold Coast. This is going to be so, so close on the line. Sally Pearson's got it. Could you believe it? I started training when I was 13 years of age and I'm now 32, so it's been a wild ride, but awesome at the same time. My great day out starts with a good coffee in the morning. There's a little coffee shop in Sherm Park in Labrador where I go to almost every single day. It's called 5B2F, and he's just a little bakery that we go to, and he likes to feed everyone. He's a small little cafe that feeds everyone. That's his motto. Thank you very much. Looks delicious. So after coffee, we might head down to the beach and go for a stroll. I don't think you can beat a lifestyle like this on the Gold Coast. The weather is fantastic. It's sunny one day, it's sunny the next day, it's perfect the next day after that. So I met my husband here on the Gold Coast. We went to school together, so you can also find love. <laughs> the Gold Coast is a tourist destination, and I'm a local here, and I love doing the tourist attractions. I come to SeaWorld quite often. I mean, you can come here a hundred times and not get bored. Look at them all. Look at that one over there. 
I love rides, I love adrenaline, but at the same time, I get so scared on it. So it's a little bit of a sick feeling that I have. I don't know, maybe I'm, I thrive off the adrenaline rush that I get going on rides. So yeah, I, I enjoy all the rides. The scarier, the better. Oh my gosh, I feel like a drowned rat. <laughs> I'm so wet. My second passion is animals. I, I love being around the animals. I love caring for them. I've done a lot of volunteer work before, but being at SeaWorld, you get to see them first up. I get to go behind the scenes sometimes and, and get to interact with them, which is a really special moment for me. I don't have fish yet. They're coming. It's coming. Just stay there. He knows where the fish is. That's not the one we're after, but that's okay. She's controlling all these little muscles up here in this blowhole, as you can see. Yeah. Like the way she moves that, they can see yeah, it's yeah, away yeah. now. Ah. <laughs> so to sum up my great day out, I would start off with a good coffee in the morning, head to the beach, nice stroll along the water, and then come and end your day thrill-seeking on the rides or splashing about with the animals at SeaWorld. Ah. <laughs> it's a hot day, you may as well cool down. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dan Pappas, the owner of and creator of Fonzie Abbott Coffee Roasters. Now turned into a brewing company and a distilling company. Based here in Albion, on the corner of Fox Street and Crosby Road. The Crosby Park area is fantastic. We've got parks, we've got Brothers Rugby, we've got the Cricket Oval, we've got Florists, we've got four or five other cafes in, in two or three streets from each other. Heaps of apartments where cement plants used to be, so it's sort of changed a lot in the last 10 years since we've been here. Gone from roasting, brewing, and distilling, and we're sort of merging a lot of things into one, not just specifically being great at one, we're trying to be excellent at three things, and we're trying to create a bit of a community vibe about coming down here. We're an office for a lot of people, which is good to see for our regulars, and we keep them happy and caffeinated. We get families during the day, at lunchtime, for a couple of beers out the back, kids get a milkshake, we've got some chips and burgers, um, different food trucks occasionally. So, yeah, it's a good, good time on the weekends. My name's Jessica Warrock and I'm the owner of Warrock Antiques in Crosby Road, Albion. It's just a really interesting area. Ten years ago when I came here, there really wasn't much here. It was light industrial. Now there's apartment blocks going up all up the street and the type and style of businesses has changed. So great coffee shops, great retail stores to buy. Um, it's just become a little hub. We import 18th and 19th century French and English antiques. We travel overseas a couple of times a year and we hand source everything. What we stock is generally incredibly rare, really hard to find and top end of the market. And it's even if it's not something that you necessarily want to buy, it's just a fascinating step back in time. Lovely to see the old craftsmanship and things constructed really beautifully and made really well. I'm Matt Moses and I'm the Managing Director of uh, Ruggers Restaurant on Crosby Road in, in Albion. Brothers, you know, as we're a part of, is one of the oldest rugby clubs, you know, in Queensland. They have over two and a half thousand active playing members. Brothers is known as the family club and the community club and that's what we try to embrace, you know, here in Albion. Families are a, are a big part of, you know, of our clientele, probably the biggest part of our clientele. They get to come down here, relax, kids get to go and play out across the beautiful ovals that you see. Mum and Dad get to relax and have, you know, five or ten minutes by themselves, nice cold glass of wine and enjoy beautiful food. I decided to open a venue that was, that was very gluten friendly and still have quality food, you know, sort of pub gastro style, but all made fresh in-house every day, nothing out of a bottle, nothing out of a jar, completely made here by our team of three chefs. Oh, and for the gentleman, the Ruggers OG Burger. Ruggers is beautifully located in the centre part of, of Albion. We're only three train stops directly from the city. As you can see around, it's a beautiful leafy, you know, green environment to come and enjoy, sit down and listen to the birds chirping and, uh, and enjoy a great day. If seeing and experiencing the best of the scenic rim wasn't enough, imagine doing it in such style and comfort. That's what Prestige Day Tours is all about. 
We are South East Queensland's only luxury day tour operators. Because we do small group tours, guests get to see a lot more with us and experience a lot more in a day. Nev and Cheryl Profke wanted to create fun and unique tours that go above and beyond. We really do pride ourselves in our service to our guests and we're very proud of the fact that we never had other than the five star review. Nev and Cheryl offer tours of Barron Bay, Tambourine Mountain, Springbrook National Park and today's Day in the Country Tour visits some of Scenic Rim's lovely natural features like Dad's Falls. Oh wow, look at that. Goodness gracious. What do you love about the Scenic Rim? Just all this, Alistair. You know, not, not only do we have Dag Falls, a little bit further down the road, we've got Queen Mary Falls. In the wet season, there's even another one down the road called Browns Falls. But it's not just all about the waterfalls, you know, yeah. the beautiful mountains, you've got the beautiful rainforest, you get all the different local foods, the local wineries. It's, there's so much to see in the scenic rim. Just up the road from the falls is the gorgeous Spring Creek Mountain Cafe. Its contemporary Australian menu is packed with as much local produce as possible from Killarney, the granite belt, the very best. As I enjoy the view of Condamine Gorge, Wilson's Peak and the World Heritage listed border ranges, pretty special. The view of the Killarney Burger, mighty fine too. Yeah, looks pretty good, huh? Well, it's excellent food. What did you get? I got the beef terrace pie. I'm having, is it FOMO? Clive and wife Raywin are regulars on Nev and Cheryl's tours. What made you book this experience, Clive? Well, it's not our first with Prestige Day Tours. Mm. Raymond and I have travelled all around the world and the service that they get, the quality, mm. uh, the luxury is second to none. And that Neb, he knows his stuff, doesn't he? He does, he does. He's like an, he's like an oracle. <laughs> well, that's a word I've never heard of <laughs> describing Neb before, but yes. <laughs> Visiting a farm is a must on any country tour and guests have the option of the colourful Karumba Vineyard and Lavender Farm or Summerland Camels, which is where I've chosen today. We're the third largest camel dairy in the world. Uh, in the world? In the world, and largest in Australia by quite a long way. Uh, Meet Jeff Flood, one of the creative forces behind the dairy, which produces camel milk, cheese, chocolate, gelato, even its own range of skincare products, and of course, meat. The meat is amazing, it's like a sweet beef. Jeff is a passionate advocate for the scenic rim and encourages everyone to visit. In Perth, you have the Margaret River. You think of Adelaide, you think of the Adelaide Hills, you think of Melbourne, you think of the Yarra Valley, you think of Sydney, you think of the Hunter Valley, you think of Brisbane. Most people don't realise that the scenic rim is that for Brisbane and some of the best quality food and produce and wines and beverages in the world are made here, right next to Brisbane. We're only 45 minutes from the CBD, right here. Enjoy a tour with Prestige Day Tours. They're even happy for you to design your own. Get in touch with Cheryl and Nev to explore our wonderful corner of the state. Tony, Tony. Oh my God, oh my goodness. Oh my, oh we're high aren't we? We are oh, high. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's for the fits, it's such a great view up here. <laughs> Well, that's a fabulous way to experience the scenic rim and all in one day, but we are out of time. We'll have to leave it there. We hope you can join us again next time for another great day out. You beautiful little things.